Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new video and almost after a month I'm back with another tutorial video and I hope you guys gonna love this one too. And in this video we'll be creating a simple poster design and as well as in Photoshop. Uh, if you love Photoshop then please do subscribe my channel and yes with that note let's submit the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create a composition so for that click on file click on new and I'll just go for uh, okay 8.5 over 11 and keep the resolution as 300 color mode to RGB let's change the bit rate to 16 bit and just keep the rest as default and let's click on create and right after that let's drag and drop this image over here yes right click convert it as a smart object and control t let's do some adjustment maybe let's make it something like that all right now let's create a layer max go to the brush and let's get rid of uh, these parts so for that let's make sure the color is black and let's remove those parts Yeah, let's get uh, let's get those parts back hmm. all right now let's uh, go over here let's create a kind of new solid like a little like some something like this color and let's get rid of oh sorry let's get rid of these parts now let's drag and drop uh, this image over here yes and control T let's horizontal flip and control T let's make it a kind of bigger maybe something somewhere around this all right now control T let's to some perspective yeah, maybe somewhere around that control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it maybe right over here all right now let's create a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a soft brush and let's change the color to a kind of dark All right, now control T, let's squeeze it. Let's create a kind of contact shadow right over here. And let's make another layer, same thing, using the same brush, let's create a spot and control T, let's squeeze it and let's, maybe let's keep it right over here. All right, and now let's create a new layer and go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray and right click create clipping max let's change it to soft light let's go for burn tool let's go for burn tool and let's change it to mid tones and let's decrease the exposure maybe around 58 percent and let's make those parts a little darker and let's make these parts a little darker same goes over here too let's make those parts darker and i don't want to mess around with this stick so we'll just keep it like that uh, so if you are working on your client's project so yeah make sure everything is perfect but it's just for the tutorial so i don't want to mess around with these parts so let's do some adjustment so yep let's make these parts darker and let's make those parts darker too and let's change it to dodge tool and let's make them a little sign maybe on the face too yep 
something like that or oh, maybe on the face it's too much let's make it burn yep maybe something like that all right now let's go back to the very bottom layer create a new layer and go to the brush and I would like to go with my explosion brush so this is my favorite brush I use almost all the time on my design works so let's choose this one and let's go for a little lighter color now let's add let's keep it under this layer yep let's add something like that and now let's create a new layer and using the same brush and let's make it a little darker let's create a one more layer go to the brush again and let's go for a little lighter color and let's change the opacity just a little touch yep something like that and let's do some color adjustment so select the layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's increase a clarity maybe it's too much maybe somewhere around here let's increase the texture let's drop down the vibrance just a little touch and go to the detail tab let's increase a noise reduction color noise reduction and noise reduction so somewhere around here let's increase sharpening too just a little touch and let's go to the color mixture and from here let's drop down orange a little bit and yellow a little bit and let's increase the saturation for blue yep somewhere around here yep something like that now let's go to the very bottom layer select the layer go to the filter and let's uh, apply a camera raw filter and for this one too let's increase let's drop down the shadows let's drop down the highlights maybe increase a shadow just something like that and let's increase a clarity increase a texture and go to the detail tab increase noise reduction and color noise reduction and let's see let's make it a little warmer yep somewhere around here and let's increase the saturation but go to the color mixture and let's drop down the saturation for greens and go to the hue and let's change the orange more towards the red Yep, something like that. Yep, like something like that. Let's click on OK. Alright, now let's add a new layer. I'll call it lookup table. So from here click on load. And I will just go for my cinematic lot. So if you want to download the lot pack. Yeah, check on the description list below so go over here click on load so yep and let's add some text so click over here All right, uh, now let's do a final touch up. Let's press on Control, Shift, Alt and E to merge all layer and let's go to the filter. Go to the camera raw filter again. And uh, let's go to the basic tab. Let's decrease the highlights. Let's increase the clarity some more. Increase the texture. And let's make it a little warmer. Yep, somewhere around here. And let's dehaze dehaze it and let's go to the effect tab and let's add some grain and let's add some vignetting too 
yep something like that so yep that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and i hope you guys love this tutorial and see you guys in the next video